Hey, welcome to Antlab Games. I'm Anthony. I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Burgle, Burgle Bros. Brothers 2. Two. It's Burgle Bros. Burgle Bros. I would say Bugle Bros. Bugle Bros. <laughs> it's a casino <laughs> heist. Yes, so Burgle Bros. 2 is um, uh, another game designed by Tim Fowers for Fowers Games. It plays one to four players in about 60 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing like some cat and mouse chasing, tile flipping. Exploring. Driving out of buildings, maybe. The casino and trying <laughs> to steal things. Yes. All right. So join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. Hi, welcome back. So, Burgle Bros. The Ritz two. Casino. Yes, we are going to be entering the Ritz Casino in an effort to locate a safe. And Full then, of, hopefully, lots of cash and prizes. I hope so. <laughs> and then try to get our, our, our escape as quickly yes. and safely as possible without ever earning six heat. And that will make sense as we go along. Yes. So, take a look at the table. Here's the setup. So we have the Ritz Carlton mm -hmm. here. The Ritz Carlton Casino. The casino. <laughs> and we've got two floors, right? So you've got floor one and floor two. Somewhere on the first floor is the um, control room. Mm -hmm. And in that control room, we're going to be using any intel we find to help us crack the safe that's located somewhere on the second floor. Right. So we're going to have to try to find a way to the second floor. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to find both the, store room, uh, the uh, control room and yes. the safe. Meanwhile, we'll be avoiding these two bouncers. Mm -hmm. right? Every casino has big burly bouncers who yes. want to just get you for doing bad things. <laughs> um, let's go a little bit over our setup, player yes. setup. So who did you take? Okay, so I have the Rook. So the game comes with a whole bunch of characters that you can play with, burglars, I guess. Yes. Um, and the Rook um, has three special skills. Yeah, we each have kind of a specific of set of skills here. Um, and, and now I know the rules are still kind of in development. Um, at this current moment, you are able to actually know what all of these are, mm -hmm. and we will be unlocking each of these over the first three turns of the game. So these are going to all start face down. We can know what they are. Mm -hmm. We can flip whichever one we want at the end of our first turn, second turn, third turn, and then we can use them either once or a couple of times, depending on what's indicated on the card. Uh, to help us get around the map. Yep. So mine, for example, allows me to do a lot of moving and swapping of, of players. Yep, uh, and that's the rook, right? Yep. So I'm the acrobat who kind of does like grappling hook zip lines and a fake mustachio, <laughs> to, mustachio. Uh, to help you get around and avoid some of the heat that you can get from these yes. bouncers, right? So they're all pretty powerful skills, uh, but a lot of them are really just one-time use for the game. So you yeah. really have to think about what is ideal. Right. Um, the basic setup is the floor plan for each floor is very specific with regards to where the walls are placed. So mm -hmm. those, these are these black dividers and the red dividers indicate locked doors that we'll be able to unlock yeah. through our turns. Um, these little poker chips are different things uh, such as the intel we're looking for, but also things right. that can sort of muck us up along the way right. uh, that you'll have to discover little as encounters. you. Yeah, yeah, during little encounters, so to speak, right? Uh, on our turn, you're gonna have four actions that'll allow you to move uh, to an adjacent room. Mm -hmm. Uh, one to allow you to peek into the adjacent room before you go barreling into it full speed. Yeah. Uh, another action will allow you to unlock a door right. through the roll of hopefully. a d6. Yeah. Hopefully you'll get to unlock that door. Or you can activate certain uh, rooms and right. we'll go through that as that happens. Yeah, right. Uh, each of us will be taking a turn. At the end of your turn, the guard on your floor will start moving. They mm -hmm. move three spaces towards this little red cube and the guy on the second floor doesn't have a location yet a destination because we're not right, really up not there, there yet we don't know what's going yeah. on but we know that the the uh, bouncer on the first floor mm -hmm. is going to be heading towards this location that's his destination and he's going to move three spaces towards it yep uh, if they ever move into your space or you move into theirs you will accumulate two heat, heat. of yeah. the six max if they ever get if we ever get six heat any of us individually we all lose right they're on to us. Yep. So we get to start in one of the four corners okay. on this floor. Yep. Um, and that's it. So let's begin. Okay. All right. You ready? Pulling Are you ready? That's the my question. Ski mask on. Your ski mask. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going skiing. <laughs> um, that's what you use when you burgle stuff, isn't it? I guess. So I'm going to start over here. I've never burgled stuff, so <laughs> I don't really know the answer to that question. 
All right, I'm gonna start here because it's closest to me and there's no like doors. Okay. Um, so I'm going to come into this first room now. When you come into your first your first room, does not count as an action, mm -hmm. but it will still cost like well, it'll still count as like activation. Count as actually and, moving and stuff into a room for um, keyword purposes. So all right, so right off the bat we have Intel. Okay. An Intel token. And we have a buffet. buffet. There's a buffet in the, and there's intel in the buffet. Uh, so the buffet, we add a token, which is the big chicken. Big chicken leg. Right. Oops, or turkey or whatever this is. When there's three of these, mm -hmm. Bouncer's going to start moving towards the buffet. Right, he because he wants to eat all that chicken. That. Now, the intel tokens um, are going to yield us intel dice, mm -hmm. which will help us to get into the safe once we find it. And the control room once we find that. So. Why are the intels in the buffet is beyond me, but that's I know, it's because that's where people chat and yes. they're talking about stuff. So he's like going around like, hmm, about, <laughs> where's that serve? Um, anyway, so we have some intel and that does not count as a move for me. So I think what I'll do is actually use my two actions mm -hmm. to put a, a die on there. So the you, you know the intel's there, but it actually costs you two actions to place the intel die mm -hmm. on the room once we find the control room we'll be able to move all of our intel dice to the control room right they'll kind of all store it, but all the dice on the board will move into the control room and yeah. then you'll use an action within the control room to move it up to the safe exactly if we exactly. find the safe if and when we find the safe yeah. so um that was a good first free a great first move, move. Yes. my guys like full of chicken and stuff so and that wasn't even really a move so mm -hmm. i'm going to start my well that was one and two so i have two more moves left you did two actions, for two the die action. This. That's correct. So I will move. I'm going to move full speed ahead because there's no token on here. So I'm just going to go for it. And it's the control room. Wow. wow that okay. Like so lucky. that die actually immediately goes okay, there. Okay. So this goes here. Um, this never happens this way. No. This is really nice. <laughs> oh, this is great. We still have to find the safe. We still have to find a way to the second floor. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. But this is good. So there's still a lot this. more wood to chop. Um, so that was... <laughs> That was three. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was three. So I'll take one more move and I guess go up here. Just keep moving around because we're going to have to trigger. Oh, it's a dance floor. All right. So we found the disco right. tech. So the dance floor. The we just, dance the floor. Da the dance floor. <laughs> we're going to pull all now. our friends yes. <laughs> into the dance floor. So um, anyway, yeah, we're going to put all our friends there, but we don't have any adjacent teammates. All right. So, so. pull all. Adjacent, adjacent teammates. teammates there, okay. Because the dance floor. I guess so, right? Everybody yeah. wants to dance a bit. So your turn is actually over it's now. Over. So now the guard is going to move towards move when it, when it opens. Uh, this destination. It's always good to keep an eye on where the guard's moving to know where you want to end your turn. Because if that guard passes through you, mm -hmm. you are going to take some heat. So one, two, three. They're going to move the shortest route. Yep. Uh, that's and the he didn't shortest make it, route. So. No, he didn't make it, so he's, right. he's pretty much done. Your turn. Now I can choose to come into the same entrance, mm -hmm. or I can choose a different entrance. Yes. What are you going to do? I don't really like the idea of coming in down here, mm -mm. but that mm -mm. that's unfortunate. I mean, you can only hope that he's going to move. Right, because if I come in here and I create a commotion for whatever reason, he's going to come right to me and I'm pretty yeah. trapped in this corner. If I come in here, I could do the same thing and I'm stuck right. again. So I can either come in here mm -hmm. or come in here. I think I'll come in here to get that free. Okay. Uh, token. Explode. Uh, oh, Intel. So what? perfect. Okay. Nice. So that's slots. What does uh, that say? I can't read it. So you can use an action to prevent commotion. All right. So what a commotion is going to do, that would actually move the destination token to that room, mm -hmm. and he's going to take a step towards me. Right. So I don't want him coming my direction. <laughs> so I'm going to spend one of my actions, my first action, yeah. to prevent that. Right. So to quiet those machines now. And I'm going to spend my next two actions to place a die here, which, which will then control. go right to the control room. Okay, perfect. So that'll activate that. And I've got one more action, so I'll move into here. Dance floor. And we'll join you on the dance floor. <laughs> okay. So, that's great. Yeah, that's not bad. So I'm going to activate one of my skills. We'll do it after he goes. So he's going to go here for one. Now he gets three moves. So we find his next destination is B2. Okay. And he's going to go two, three. Oh, great. So that's not... Great, ideal, but, but okay. I think in light of that, I'll bring out my fake mustache. Okay. That's my first. And I brought out my earpiece, which allows me to move the current player. And, that has um, and this charges. has three charges on it. It's not on the on the tile, but it is in the errata. So okay. Um, all right. So for my first action, I'm going to try to unlock this door. Can I have okay, a die, please? you get one die, and you need to get a four, five, or a six to succeed, and you get a one. One. I always roll ones with. These Spend things. an extra action to get two two dice. And you failed again. Spend I'll another spend action another to get three dice. That's ridiculous. It just gets easier and easier, so it seems. All right, and you finally, finally hit it with a four. So let's 
So, so it's three actions. That's three actions that unlocks this door. Oh, that's very scary. And uh, uh, you could peek in there. <laughs> I yeah, I think I'll peek because I don't want to go there because he's going to be yeah, on there. Yeah, I wouldn't go there. Don't go there. No, but I will peek at it. And it is oh, it's an escalator. Oh, cool. So we I found to go there. we found our way up. All right. There we go. Which is okay. good. Yeah, it's great. Um, uh, but he's going to actually go one. Oh, cool. So oh, he's going to end up down here. Nice. Uh, two, three. He's going to have to come great. all the way down. Okay. Uh, the reason we were a little worried there is because if he comes through, well, actually, if he came through that door on us for whatever <laughs> reason, we would have both taken two heat each yeah. and that would have been bad. Um, and also when he moves through open doors, he gets more suspicious. So he actually gets additional movement. Right. So the fact that he didn't do that is, is really good. It's great. Okay. So I'm going to go head upstairs. Yeah. I'm going to go right through and then, so one and then two, you go right up to the corresponding room. Corresponding oh, and room. To... oh, and another Intel. This is ridiculous. Really? This is It's like we ridiculous. matched this out ahead of time. Yes. I wish we did. I know. But we didn't have to. This is great. So that's. I would though. Like if I was one, a heister. Two. You would have thing? to. A you a shyster? A shyster. I'm going to spend... If I was doing a heist, if I was the one that does heists, I would... You would know would where this stuff is. I would plan it for many, so, many years. So, uh, commotion if I end my turn here. All right, so this is where it gets a little nervous because... I, I get a little nervous. Because basically, oh, I, I have an intel token here. So that was one, two to come up, mm -hmm. right? And now I could spend two to turn this into a die. But Ooh, if I end my no. turn here, mm -mm. he's going to actually... It's, it's going to yeah, create a commotion he's too close. here. He's too close. My fear is that I go here yeah. and that creates a commotion and he's going to end up coming through me. So I may spend my what? next action to come back down. Oh, okay. And just get out of dodge. Okay. Right? So now we know where there's intel. We can come back up and get that. I will come But we won't activate him this turn because I'm not up there. We're going to activate him instead. Right. Okay. Right? So he'll go one, two, and then... C4. So he's going to go here. So he's going to go all the way around. Three. three. So okay. we're good. Perfect. Uh, and back to you. So, um, all right, so I, I will, my next skill yeah, do there. that. So I'll do one for the escalator, two. Oh, see, that's what you did too. You did two for the craps. Yep. And then got out of there. And then got out of there for the intel. Well, we're going to have to get up there and do it. Well, how many, so you went one, two, and then you were ending your turn there, right? Yeah. So don't go up there then. Well, but I can go here. I can just, I can peek at something. Three, and that gives you another move if you, you, you know want to peek and then get out of there. one, two. I can peek. Yep. And then beat feet downstairs if it's really that if bad. I, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, we'll see. I'll peek here. Right, Ooh, the front, the front desk. desk. If, if we... the guard is here, adjacent gains one heat. He's not there. And he's not there. And I'm going to go here for my fourth. I'm just going to get out of there. Okay. So he's actually going to activate. So we need so to know where his destination go. is. His destination is D3. Oh, See, there you we go. had no Perfect. idea where he was going. He's yeah. going to go one, two. And then C4. Three. Three. Okay. Oh, good. Great. He's completely out of there. Out so of the way. I'll go one, two, three, create a die. Okay. Send it to the control room immediately. Um, and then I'll unlock that door. Okay with my last action. And I hit and it. And you did it. Yay. All right. All right. So that's my turn. So he's going to actually go one. Yeah. B4. B4. Wow. Oh, he's going to go all the way around. Oh, he does. Two, three. Yeah. So okay. he's coming down this way, which he's going to hit that door. So that's going to make him a little suspicious. One, two. I can come down here. One, two. And then try to get back up, maybe. Or you can go see what's in this corner, maybe. Nah, I don't know. I mean, I could. Or go around that way. And I can lock this I... door because he's coming through here. Okay, so you're going to head down this way. No, because that's a dead end. I mean, no, I can come like, into here the, the and get out. Now. I know. So it's either we either got to check this side yeah. or this side because he's coming over here. Well, if we go that way, that's a dead end, too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wish he wasn't coming around this long way. We need that one character that does look breaks the walls. I know. Um, move current player to the other copy of the tile they're on. Oh. 
yeah. You know, we haven't found enough tiles to be able to do that effectively right. yet. Because, like, I could theoretically move myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anywhere. Like, I could move myself down here to try and look for that thing. You know what I mean? How do you move yourself down here? With Move the current player. That's just a move. Oh, that's right. That's just one move. All right, fine. So I'll just... Wait I a guess... minute. Did I end my turn here? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so then I actually created move the commotion here, and he's going to come one step closer. Yeah. Oh, crap. Because he had moved. Yeah, yeah, so he that did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So he's actually going to come get me. Yikes. And I'm not the current player, so you can't move me. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, because I, I unlocked the door, and I ended up with my last... Oh, I didn't even crap. think about that. Yikes. Unless at the end of my turn you used your earpiece and moved me one space up to where you are so that he would do, do that. I'll do that. I will do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I yeah. didn't even notice that. That'll so, fix it. So yeah, okay. spend your, I did. I your token. So it. use your earpiece to get me out of there because I didn't even real I didn't remember that the crouch yeah. room is like that. Okay. Well yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to we don't want him coming to stop it in there. I mean I could try to come down here. And just shut that door. But he's coming there. I know. All right, fine. I'll go here for one. Yeah. And it's a revolving door. May take two actions to move diagonal. I don't need I'm that. I'm not interested in that. Um, I'll come down here for two. Mm-hmm. Poker. So if a teammate is here or adjacent, add commotion. You are not right, adjacent. That's good. So, uh, so I'll come down here for three. It's another buffet. The buffet. All right. And you have one more. That's not too bad. That's not bad. I guess I can come down here. Okay. I'm going to peek. Are you sure? I'm going to peek down here. It could be bad. If it's a blind corner, we're in trouble. It's slippery. Oh, okay. That's not bad. You peeked. So that I doesn't, peaked. it doesn't matter. So slippery oh, would have okay. actually good, had you good, slide good, good. around the corner yeah. or through to the next room. But there's a wall. And a commotion on enter and you didn't enter. So that I was actually enter. the perfect oh, room great. to peek. I'm just sitting here in the buffet. Yeah. So he's going to get angry. He's going to go one, two, three, see that there was an open door, lock it and, and, get, one more. and move one more. So he's like, what? C3. He's going all the way back up yeah, around. Yeah, he's going to go back over here. Yeah, so he's going to go yeah. all the way around. So that's good. He's kind of like just bouncing back and forth. Yeah. I can go peek here on my turn, mm -hmm. and we'll see if we can uh, find this safe. Boom. Nice. That's one. I'll move in for two. And it's the oh, pool. Cool. Ah, so we have to draw a special pool event. All right. So we have no running. The bouncer on this floor does not move this turn. Sweet. Bouncer on the other floor moves instead. Okay, he can move That's all he good. wants because I don't care. <laughs> so that was one, two, and I'll move into here for three. Okay. Cover. Uh, so that's not really going to oh, matter. No, um, uh, so pull an adjacent, adjacent pull teammate in. here. Yeah. Oops, I did pull this one. So that's it. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll stop here. Okay. What I could do, I mean, we hmm. don't need to, yeah, I don't need to do any of that stuff. I mean, go back into the pool room. That would actually pull another event, though. Yeah, I know. I don't know that I would, I don't know that I would do that. No, I'm going to stop here. So he's actually going to move three, one, two, and then draw a card right. because of the pool. Yep. He's so D1. Here, so he's going to go back one, three. Okay. All right. So that's fine. Okay. And then it's your turn. All right. All right. Let me look at my last skill. So this one's up now. If the current player is in an outer room, move them to the room on the opposite edge. Can you do that? To I me? will do that. So I'm going to use this one timer, right? Yeah. So it's a zip line. So I'm creating a zip line from side to side, and that will move you from here to here. Okay. Boom. Oof. So that skill is now out nice. of the game. That's another, another pool. pool. All right. All so right. what's really the event? Over here. <sighs> Go for a swim. Lose one heat. Oh, well, we don't have heat. We don't have heat. That's good. Um, let's see. Where do I want to check out? I guess I may move down here. Mm -hmm. You have four actions, because that was my ability. That is that true. That just it's moved you. Move. So. Oh, a blind corner. Okay. okay, but I ran in here, so yes. that's good. If you blind peek, corners are bad. If you peek a blind corner, the guard immediately goes yeah. in. Yeah. If you move into it, it doesn't happen. So that was one. I'll go here for two. Okay. 
Oh, it's a lounge. A lounge event. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. Thirsty. Move the bouncer destination to this tile. Oh, he's just... Okay. That's fine. Oh, okay, that's he fine. can't get there. That's so actually he, great. So yeah. I'll go up here now. Yep. Um, so it's three now. This is three. Yep. Right. Cover. All right, cool. Oh, that's good. That's fine. Another yeah, lounge. Another lounge. Oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. This is like the lounge pool area. Mm -hmm. This is like the place to be. This is the place to be. Cocktail. Next player has plus one action. Yay. That's I get good. four actions. So that was one, two, three. You get one more action. No, I moved to the pool. Oh, no, you moved me there. I moved one, you there. One, two, three. I have one more action? Mm-hmm. But I'm undercover here. I kind of like that. So you want to stay in that room? Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to draw any more events. Okay, yeah. he's going to go one, two, three. So he'll, he's going to come out here. Yeah. And you're kind of stuck in there. I am. Okay. I mean, I, I could... Would, I would move here. I can move here. Yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I could move here, and then I can swap our locations so you that can you do that can start I can finish out this, this floor. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, so draw your pool event for coming in here. Okay. Bouncer swim. Draw a patrol card. Move bouncer to that tile. Wow, okay. So... D4. D4. So he came down here. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not terrible. That opens up this. I know. So that's your final action, right? Did you want to swap us? and then Because I get plus one action. Yeah, because I, you're I can kind of get out of, out of here. You yeah, know what so I mean? use that. Yeah. What ability was that? It's called the face masks. Swap right. the location of two players. Uh, oh, no. That's bad. Why? Uh, because he gets to move now, right? Yeah. He's going to go one. And no matter where this shows up, oh. he's going to end up on my tile. And I'm gonna that's get why I said heat. I wanted to stay in the lounge because he's undercover there. Oh, well, that's fine. I won't take two heat. That's yeah. what's two heat. Okay. I, I got to get out of here anyway. All right. So it's my turn mm -hmm. and I've got to get out. Yes. So I'm going to go for one here. Cashier. If less than four heat, gain a heat. So I just gained heat. So I've got three heat. Okay. I'm going to go here. Wait, you need to keep this on here though. Great salesman. Oh no. Yeah, this is bad. And the safe. Oh, it's a safe. Oh okay. god. All right. So there's good. a salesman in the safe room. Great. So I'm here. <laughs> so that was two of my oh, actions. So this is we bad. have to deal with the salesman right. now. So what the salesperson okay. does is basically I'm not allowed to leave this room unless right. somebody moves me or somebody comes there to get me out of here. Right, right, right. Uh so uh, I can yeah. move you out of there. That was my one, two. I have five actions this turn. Uh -huh. I can open this up. But you, you can open it, but you can't move out of there. I could move but you. But you can move me out of here. Yeah. I'm Try just worried because he's coming. Well, up. yeah. Open the door. So this will be my third action, right? Yeah. Boom. Nice. It's open. Three. I'll move you. Move out me out. There. Four. This move a current player to the other copy of the tile they're on. Do you think that would move you to the control room? No. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here for my last action. Okay. Perfect. So there. Good. That's, you got out of dodge. So I got out of dodge. Guy. Oh, wait. He's going to go he's one. He's going to go one. And then to B2. The B2s. The B2s. Two. And then he's getting an extra oh, move no. here. Close this door. And then where's his next location? A3. Oh, all right. It's down here. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to go away. Perfect. All right. Whew. That was close. Yeah. That was really, really close. All right. All right. It's your turn, and unfortunately... We have not found the... Oh, we have everything. We don't have an escalator to get back down to the first floor. I can get down there. Oh, you can. I have a, a grappling hook that moves me up or down a floor. Oh, okay. Oh, and I have the move a current player to the other copy the tiler on. I could theoretically move myself to the dance you floor. You can do that, and that might actually be... And then I'll sit down there in the control room. That might be optimal, yeah. Does salesman go away? Uh, I... Think so. I mean, not that it matters because he can talk. He can he talk can your talk ear off all ear day off while all you're I cracking want. that safe. Yeah, so you have to get out of there. So I would definitely. All right, move. I'm going to do that. So I will move to this copy. All right. Does that does that count as a move action? Does it say, or is it just? I don't think so. I think when you it use it, it just these, says move. The yeah. So it just kind of makes it happen, and now you get all sorts of turns, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go one, 
two, three, four, and send all these up all to the All the safe. dice up to the safe. So now we get to roll, one action to roll all the dice, and we've got to get six numbers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to have to do some safe rolling. So that was the end of your turn. It was, uh, This yes, guy's so going to go move. one, two, oh, three, right. and then he's going to... Set and oh no to the control room, but you oh, don't have no. to be there. No, I can always go down to the buffet. You need to come upstairs. I do yeah. right because you need to get up here to help me with the save because we both got to crack. Oh, because I sent it. I sent it open. Yeah, I you sent all the intel open. up. So there's yeah. there's one more intel here, but right. I think with three dice we should be good. We should be okay. Okay, cool. Oh man, I don't really like. I don't like the idea of going this close. To the Brooklyn safe. A3. You know what I mean? Because what? why? Well, because he's going to be here, which is only three spaces away from the safe. If he draws a location, that's over here. What do you mean if he draws a location? Over when there? he goes to the buffet, he's going to draw his next destination. Right. Which could be. I know, but we can't get around that. This is. Like I know, but I've place. got the most heat right now. Okay. So I'm, so I'm just a little do? nervous about. I thought you said we were going to both do the safe. Um. You know what? I'm going to do. I'm, yeah, and we're going to have to. So I'll go one. And I hope I can unlock this door in one shot. Nope. Two. Three. There. All right. So I unlocked it. And then four. I'm going to move into the safe. Yeah. Um, okay. That's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. That's all I can do. Like, we're going to have to play. But I don't have any more actions to do that. So he's going to go one. Do that, and then B one. Oh, Not perfect. There. Yeah. Two, three. So he's a he's a little bit far away, considering yeah. the safe is in a bad spot. That's a, I wish it was down here, but that's okay because you have to get up here. And this door's already open, mm -hmm. so I can go one, two, and then just stop three, in here. four, and just hang out here. That's. Kind uh, of I don't know if crappy. I would do that. Yeah, because he's going to come towards us. I don't want him, he should, we don't want him to move this this round. You know what I mean? I know. The thing is, this guy's going to be coming, he's coming across to A3. Yeah, he's so gonna he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's six, one, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, I need to get out of here, too. You know? I know, I know. I'm just worried if he comes up, he could technically, if he moves this round, he can come into this control room, mm -hmm. into the safe room. You know what I mean? He could. So what do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd rather he move on my turn. Instead because of both of because our I turn? could put the fake mustache on and he can enter my room. And you, he, the bouncer can be entered. Without gaining heat. So I can actually go into his space without right. him giving me heat. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we both have to kind of be up there to do that. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I don't come, want to yeah. Go to the buffet. I guess move over. I guess come on up then. We're gonna have to deal with it. I mean, we're gonna have to. Two, three, four. Yeah. And then it's. Gonna, I know it sucks. It's gonna go one. A four. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that was lucky. Two, three. That's really Ooh. lucky. Okay, really, so really my turn's so. gonna be rolling dice. Okay. All right, so I get to roll the three dice, and this is how it works. I can roll as many dice as I want. There's only ever gonna be four in here, though. But what I'm trying to do is match numbers that are in the row and column of the safe, right? So here mm -hmm. and here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to roll six numbers: a five, a three, a six, a two, another five, and another three. As I roll them, I cover them. So these, that's basically the six numbers in the combination. Yeah. So I get to roll these from one uh, once per action, all the dice. So I'm going to get to roll them four times and then cover the numbers as I hit them. Yeah. So I get a three. And a two. So I'll cover the three. I'll cover the two. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's my first roll. Second roll, five and a three. So five mm -hmm. and a three. So yes. basically, I just need another five and a six. And I one, got one, three one. ones. Yes. All right. So at the end of my turn, these all go back to the control room. Mm, okay. If we hit these last two, the safe opens and we yeah, do we the end game, the escape. So 
I have an ability to go downstairs if I want to. Right now. Oh, you do? I was going to say, yeah, no, that's fine. I can move up or down a floor yeah, yeah. and the room do it, activates. Do it, do it. I don't know if I want to oh, okay. because doing that puts me right here. So we can't do anything. And the bouncer's right here. So I'm stuck in this safe. Because he's technically going. If I end my turn here, he's mm -hmm. going to hit me. Right. Uh, so that's not going to be good. Why would he hit you there? He's going to come straight across here. Why would he do that? He would. Couldn't he just go up around there? He could, but he could one, also two, go this three, way. Four, one, two, Same. three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, here no, we go. No, five, six, seven. Oh, five, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah. Um... I mean, I guess his preference is probably Unless to hit a person. I but... go down and there's a commotion. Yeah. And he comes right to me. Yeah. And that puts me at five heat. Right. Uh, we know he's not coming to me right now. So right. me staying here is probably best. Okay. So he's going to go one, two, and three. three. So okay. he's That's actually going up and straight across. So All this right. buys us another turn. So I just have to explore this stuff and hope to get an escalator then we got to find a way down yeah because i can't get down i can push you downstairs yeah but i don't want to waste it because i can't do anything this turn anyway so mm -hmm. i might as well you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so i'll go one unlock that unlock door this door yeah Oof. two another one i know these like are weighted for ones i know ones and twos two two this is not that's good. one two three is your last action of course. So it opens the door. And I'm stuck here. And so stuck. commotion is here. <sighs> and he goes one step towards it. So he's going to end up on your... Great. Um, yeah, so he's going to go one, two, three. Give you two heat. And now he's on hunt mode. So that's great. Yeah. So I shouldn't have done that. That's all we... What okay. else could we have done? I don't know. All right. Ah, so... so... Your turn. Yeah, so I guess I'll go straight downstairs with my grappling hook. You should have sent me down with the grappling hook to push those things up. That's so what we should have yeah, done. I was going to, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I could... Do you want me to just go through here? Because I'll gain an additional action. I can walk through without getting heat. Okay. Because I'll have my fake mustache yeah, on. Yeah, you can do that. So now I'll, the door's open. I'll go one, two, yeah, and just jump into here so I get my coffee. Okay. And I think coffee, coffee reduces I believe, heat. reduces the heat. It's, it's not, not in the rules, rules but I'm pretty but sure it does knock out we like, at least one heat and they yeah. get knocked off. So that was one, two. One, two. I'll go here for three. Yeah, might as well. It's a salesman. Another Great. Salesman. In a blackjack room. Uh, if you enter this turn, a commotion if I leave. So I can, I'll stay here. Um, and that's where we're stuck. All right. All right. So my turn ended. Yeah. He's going to go one, two. And now, and now he's going into hunt mode. He doesn't have a destination, so he's in hunt mode now. Yep. So he's actually going to come towards the room with the closest player, which is yeah. you. Okay. My turn? Yep. All right, I'm going here. I don't know why I thought I had to find another escalator. That was such a waste of time. Yes. So that's one. Uh-huh. Two, three. And I can send you one can't, die. It costs how many actions? One die to send it one die. Okay, one action to send one yeah. die? Boom. So we're getting more dice. We only, we literally need like a few rolls to get this out of here. Uh, oops. He's going to go one, two, three. All right. So he's got ways to go to get to you, which is good. Yeah. Um, I do want to get out of here. And I'm stuck. The door needs to close. I'm stuck in the salesman's room, unfortunately. Okay. So... I, I can move you out, but that's the last move I have. You know what I'm going to do, though? What? I'm going to do this to get away from him. I'm going to go. Uh, I can't leave here, though. Can you move me? Yeah. All right, move me out of here, okay. if you don't mind. You're out. Yeah. All right, so you move me to the revolving door, yes. right? Um, I'm going to spend two actions to go here, diagonally. Really? Yes, okay. and you can move through walls. And that was something that the designer yeah, clarified, yeah, yeah. right? Because I want to go to the lounge. I want to get away from this dude because he's got a, he's coming to get me, right? Because his destination is always going to be where I'm at. No, it's not. We're going to reshuffle, aren't we? No, he's in hunt mode. Oh, he's just hunt mode forever now? Okay. 
All right, so that's that's pretty smart, actually. Okay, so your lounge event. Mm -hmm. Fall down one floor. Okay. That floor activates. Great. Intel. Wow, oh, that's, that's actually good. not bad. Yeah. And it's at the front desk. If guard here, adjacent game when he... Okay. All right, cool. So that was my two actions to go here. So you can do two actions to I have send two more them. actions, and I'm going to do that do to, to create a die, and that yeah. automatically goes here. Perfect. All right, so he's actually not going to move because I'm not on that floor anymore, but right. he's going to go one, two... Oh, great. I don't have a chance to move Three. Now. Flips it. Yeah, and they more. automatically go here. I was kind of here. hoping. I know. I can move one, but... Okay, so he's going to hit you for two more heat. So you're at four. I'm almost dead. Right? But he's going to have a new location, That's which why is I C3. Never be a heister. <laughs> a shyster. All right. So, what are you going to do? Well, you can technically get out of there. Do yeah, I can. I'm, I'm going to move all these dice. Three One, two, actions. Because he's going out. No, he's still going this way. I can move to the buffet. Yeah, and just put one more chicken wing. And just sit right? there. Yeah. yeah. Can you come up here? I'm, Maybe. <laughs> uh, go where? To the escalator and go to the safe. I have to explore two rooms to get to the escalator. All right. So yeah, I'm going to try. That's for All sure. Right, so he's going one, two, three. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't have a very easy mm -mm. out here because I'm going to have to go one, two, three, four, and then he's going to appear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to just try to explore and get out of here. So that's mm -hmm. one slots. Did you peek at that? Or you no, I moved in. Okay. Use an action. So I'll use my action for two. Okay. I'll peek at this for three. The balcony. Yes. So I didn't fall. And it is storage. And I didn't go in. So okay. place a door behind, behind you when you enter. Room. And that's fine. I could go in there, but I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. Or should I? What does it matter? I guess because it's destination. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to move in and we'll put a door there because I don't really need to get to that yeah. front desk anymore. So that's that's actually not a bad place to stop. Yeah. Right. And then he's going to go one, two. And then what do we have? B3. Right where you are. Boom. So he's going to go three. He's no, going to come. He's around. coming here. I'll be three. Okay. Yeah. So. So he's going back up here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Be the same. Oh, okay. I see. We can put him. You want to put him here? Instead. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're going to go up and out anyway. So. Okay. All right. So my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, this is not good because he's going to come right into my room. But that's fine. That's fine. I can go. I mean, the thing is, like, I can go up the escalator, but this yeah, guy is here. Can... Like, we're completely screwed without somebody up there. You can go... I mean, can you, it's the only thing I can think of. So if I can go one, two, three, uh -huh. this, three, it's still not going to get me there. Cause I was thinking if you could, if you had something that gave me an extra move, you know, mm. one, two, but I still have to unlock that door and then close that one. Hmm. It's just bad. Um, I mean, I can sit here and wait. You know what I mean? I think that's what I might do. I'll go one, two. Unlock this door for three, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then just sit here for four. Okay, because he's not going to move until after. Yeah, after we get up there. But I don't want to end my turn on the second floor. Right. That's so the he's going to go... Oh God, he's coming to me. One, two, three. I'm gonna gain two heat. So, so we're both, I'm okay. We're both at four. Yeah. So what's what's his next destination? D two. Here. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So one. Well, oh, he's wait. not gonna go. He's yeah. done. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. three. Roll those dice. And roll the dice. Okay. Oh man, I just need what? Five. And I hit five. it. Okay. So it. Oh no! I needed a six. Do I have a six? You need a five also. Oh, five and a six. I need. Yeah. It. And a six. I have another one. Yeah, I do. Oh, cool. So I just, I just oh. unlocked the six. Oh my god! I could never do this in real life. No. So okay. how many moves was that? 
I went know. one, two, three, and then I rolled, right? And you rolled the dice for one, so that's... All right, so... So the juicer has found her long-lost car. So he's rescuing her ride, right? And time to drive it out of the casino. Players can take one action to enter the car. And once you're in, you can't leave the car. Any players in the car may spend one action to drive the car one space. Only the driving player activates tiles, but all players also are also in that tile. When driving into a room, the car acts as if it was slippery, and it will slide around. Mm. You destroy walls <laughs> or drive... Uh, you destroy you drive, walls, you drive, drive through. through. Yeah. Car can't go downstairs. All bounces are now in hunt mode. The players must drive through all four corners of the second floor. Once all four corners have been reached, drive out any corner of the second floor to win. All right. All right, so we are... I'm in the car. Oh, I gotta spend an action to get in the car. So we've right. just found her car. All right. I guess the keys to her car and we can get out of here. I guess. So he's actually, this, we could end up losing right now. We think we're about to. So he's gonna go one. And he's in hunt and, mode, so he's yeah, actually come to you. that down here. I had four of them, right? Yeah. So he's in hunt mode and then he's gonna go two. Yep. So boom, that gives me my six. So we- He caught you in the car. He caught me in the car. We were this close to getting out in the car, but but you can see that even in finding like the control room and the safe right away doesn't always help you. <laughs> yeah, because you've got to get the yeah, dice and you've got to get the roll. So, but all right, there you go. Let's, well, talk let's go talk about it. All right, well there you have it. We were foiled that time by the bouncers. They there's were... some things you're cut out for, and there's some things you're just not cut yeah, out. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not cut out for a life of crime. <laughs> we're just not. And that's that might be a good thing. That's all right. I think that's good. Yeah. I think that's... <laughs> just do the YouTube thing. Yeah, we'll just do the YouTube thing, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. So. Um, so anyway, so that was that was uh, well, that was it. You pretty much saw the game. Um, I will say, so we played this with two. The only change for two players, I think, was we had less um, of the patrol tiles that were flipping for the bouncers, right? Well, I guess it kind of, but because even at a higher player count, yeah, 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 we had less cards. You have to take some cards out of right. the deck. Yeah, yeah, agreed. So your timer is a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. um, one, we played this at four players at yes. Gen Con, um, and it was it definitely was a little bit different experience. I'm not sure we just didn't have time, we didn't have time to finish it. We got to we the yeah. end, but we didn't finish it. Um, so it was a little bit different experience because you've got two other players with three more skills. Exactly. Yeah. Um, that kind of helped. Exploring and yeah. moving and you yeah, know, getting all you out of trouble. Kind of so, yeah, I I would say that was my one thing with this is that I think that um, at the higher player count it is a lot of fun, and it's very frustrating at two because we never win. <laughs> yeah, it's more frustrating at two, but I, I think I think it's a little just more but challenging cool, because yeah. you don't have it's as many skills. But what you could technically do is play as two. Uh, we should have done each, two characters each, right? I because think that would be then you'll have six yeah. skills that you can use to sort of benefit right. other players, uh, and it just gives you a deeper pool right. of tricks. And, I think and that gear. would be a, that would right. be a good idea. Probably be the the right answer to that yeah. would be to play with multiple uh, characters yeah. as opposed to just one, because you are limited to just your three actions. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I think we did pretty, overall, man, pretty well. Yeah, pretty cool. And like the theme is really fun because yeah. you do really feel like you're heisting something like yes you do like you run in that slippery room and mm -hmm. you're like oh it's like slippery and like you bash into, you slide like, the into the next room, room you know which I mean? could be equally as bad yeah. and, and there yeah. are two more at least that we have with this alone we have two more uh casinos that, that yes. have completely different uh, and setups and, and yeah, yeah setups and and objectives at the end yeah. right so you, it's really uh really neat game uh we never played the first one right so i wasn't sure what to expect in this mm -hmm. one but yeah it was pretty cool like yeah, it's definitely it's really it definitely sucks you in and we're not gonna actually this isn't a review so we're not gonna right, really talk exactly. too much about it but more or less you should get the idea of what this game's giving you uh definitely definitely different yeah, check out the Kickstarter page. I think they even have, I don't know if it's a, a stretch goal or, or what he's doing, but they have like a two-tiered yeah. like game trays type of Yeah, the fact thing. that... Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. have this like left and right sort of right mm -hmm. now, but I think like you'll actually be able to do it more like 3D. And I think that would kind of help with just the yeah, spatial yeah. bit of it to know that, okay, wow, I'm just going to go upstairs right, to that right. room and do this. And, and it, it'll feel more like two different independent floors right. happening, you know, in Maybe, the casino. Yeah. But no, really cool. It definitely feels like... Uh, What's that? Ocean's Eleven? Ocean's oh, Thirteen. Ocean's Thirteen. One of those Ocean's <laughs> game where they actually go in and they hit casinos right, and try yeah. to do this stuff while they're trying to run around and and, and avoid all the uh, the uh, police and yes. and bouncers. Yes. Uh, so cool. there you go. Ch go check out the Kickstarter. Definitely uh, definitely worth looking at. Uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough. We'll see you next time. See ya.